Hi, this video is going to show you how you can use an extension called Roll Call to simplify the data you collect in Google Forms. Let's start. So as you can see here, I have my Google Forms set up for taking observations and conversations, just some anecdotal notes on students. So I'm going to start by getting some information and I'm going to choose the overall expectation that we might have been focusing on. And I'm going to write down some of the notes that I have when uh, observing and conversing with that particular student connected to that expectation. I'm going to do it another two times just with two different students so that we can see a difference in the data collected when we actually run the Google form and um, excuse me, when we run the extension from the Google Sheets. Let's do one last one. And of course, you can select various expectations as well if you're covering those in conversations and observations. I'm just writing a generic statement so we can have some data to collect. Okay, that's great. Let's go back to our master form now. So I can see that I have three responses so far. And instead of looking at this in the Google Forms uh, data analytics, I'm actually going to click on this link to sheets button so that it creates a brand new spreadsheet with all of those anecdotal observations. So let's click on that create button. Now you can see holistically all of the pieces of anecdotal observations and conversations that you've written for each student here. But to me, this is not very organized. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to click right here at the top on the extensions toolbar, and we're going to get an add-on called Row Call. Your add-ons pop up right here at the very bottom of your extensions manager, but we don't have Row Call yet, so let's get it. I'm going to click Get Add-ons, and it'll bring you to Google Marketplace. Just type in Row or Row Call, and it should pop up in the menu. And here it is, the first one that pops up with that green header. I'm going to click it. I'm going to click that Install button, and I'm going to say Continue for the permissions. I'm going to Allow. And now it will be automatically installed and I can click on that extensions bar again. So let's go click X now on that and let's see. I'm going to click on extensions and now I can actually see here that row call is there. So what row call is going to do is it's going to take each student name and create a personal portfolio for them based on all of the anecdotals that you complete using the Google form. So I'm going to click on start and let's pay attention to the very bottom here where when I run the application, it's going to create a unique folder for each student with their appended data that you collected in the Google form. You want to make sure that you're using the student name as the column to use because that's going to be what pops up on the bottom. And we're going to check off these boxes so that the column, the sheet has column headers and that the sheet automatically updates when a new entry is done in the Google form. It does take about 10 minutes to sync um, sometimes when you input the data from the form, but for right now you're going to see this immediately because we already have a bunch of data. So now you can see at the very bottom, I have, I'll just X this out, I've got my three folders of my three students so far that I've done anecdotals for. And what's really great about this is that I can click into Rob's folder. I can see the time and the date when I made this comment. I can see the overall expectation that we were covering. And I can see the note that I wrote based on the observation and conversation on the overall expectation. So again, it's just a simpler way instead of looking at all of your students, you might take a lot of notes and collect a lot of conversations and observation anecdotals, and it would just be hard to manage it from one sheet, which is the main one from form responses here. And what Roll Call allows you to do is just create those specific folders with those names. Roll Call will also only create the folders of names of students that you actually um, fill out observations and conversations for us. So let's do another one and I'll just show you the difference. We'll do Audra. 
We'll do another expectation here and I'll just copy and paste. And again, we did say that we wanted our sheet to automatically update whenever a new entry was in. So it will, however, we still want to run row call again after we put in a number of entries so that we can have the most accurate and up-to-date folders and data. But you can already see right here, because we click that automatically sort and update button, it does it for you. So you just want to triple check that um, any new data that you put in is synced up with the extension. Let's do one more just to have a, have a laugh. And we'll do JP on this. We'll do B2, Control V, and I'll submit. Let's go back to our form now. So um, you can now see that JP Cloutier's comment was entered holistically in the entire sheet with everyone's stuff, and his own folder was created. So it's just a really great opportunity to create your own observation and conversation portfolios using a simple extension that does a lot of the work for you. I hope that this helps.